Hello again, Warriors. I'm Coach Lewis. And I'm Coach Schwent from the SOCOM shooting team. Today we'll be discussing air rifle standing. We'll be discussing how to build a position, which includes setting up your gear, talking about natural point of aim, grip alignment, side alignment, and side pitcher. We'll also be discussing how to execute a shot using the acronym BRASS, breathe, relax, aiming, stop, and squeeze. And then roll right into how to develop a shot process which includes loading, verifying, executing, and repeat. The standing air rifle is one of the skull crushers of the sport, along with pistol, because it's unsupported. Uh, so it's, it's a greater challenge for us, and uh, we always enjoy a good challenge. So let's get started doing this rifle, shall we? Okay, Warriors, here we are on the range. We've got Warrior Chris McGlinnis. He's going to be demonstrating the uh, air rifle standing position for us today. And so um, this is typically what we see when we, your first time out on the range. When we get you on the rifle, and it's like, okay, this is a standing position. This is more of a, what we call CQB in a lot of our military training, totally unsupported, but a humongous uh, amount of muscle tension in his arms and his legs. Um, this is not the position that we're gonna go over today because it doesn't allow you to, to, to shoot a well-aimed shot in a very small group. So what we're trying to do is demonstrate how we build an international style position to achieve bone on bone support, minimizing the muscle tension that allows you to shoot a very small group. So Chris, if you would talk us through the process of how you set up your gear and, and establish building that solid position. Okay. So one of the first things I do when I lay everything out is I, I want as minimal movement as possible as I go through from one shot to the other. First thing I need to do is to get aligned towards that target point. So I'm going to get behind my rifle and align it up with that target point. And once I have that, I use my rifle as a reference so I'm not ending up crooked by looking at the target. I'm going to use this and I want my feet parallel and my, my hips and my body perpendicular to the target, uh, the, the firing line. Once I have that, I'm going to grab my rifle and I'm going to shoulder that rifle and I'm going to work my way up from where my feet were and I'm going to tilt my hips so I can get that elbow to hip connection because I don't want to be shouldering this rifle with any muscles. I want bone on bone support. Once I feel that connection, I'm going to test it. So notice this right here. He's got his hip forwardly slide it tilted forward just a little. The center of this rifle, as far as the weight, is right where his hand is at, and going right through the elbow and down his body, over the left hip, right down the arm. So the center of the weight is right here. So what that allows him to do is for his structure, his bone structure, to support the weight of the rifle and the position. So Chris, go ahead and take your hand off the stock, remove your hand from the pistol grip, and look what we have. It's totally balanced right here, so his structure can hold the rifle. That's what we're trying to achieve. Go ahead, Chris. And part of that is also achieved because I'm placing my hand always in the same spot. I have a mark on my rifle where I know to put my hand on the, on the palm rest. At the same time, when I do grip my, my rifle, I have certain anchors on my, my fingers that I'm feeling for on that grip, so I know I'm gripping it the same way every time. Is consistency equals accuracy. Once I get comfortable and I know I have that that bone-on-bone -bone support, I'm now going to look over my sights towards that target point and grossly align towards it. Instead of muscling it over, I'm going to shift using my back foot. Once I have that, now I'm going to lower, lower down on the sights. I'm going to look through front and rear aperture. And now I'm going to fine tune towards that natural point of aim. And I'm going to move my body using just a little bit of foot movement to get that sight picture I want. And now I'm going to try to confirm that natural point of aim. I'm going to take a deep breath in, let it out, close my eyes, 
search my body for any tension, open my eyes, and see if I have that same side picture, which I don't, which means I was actually pulling towards the right, so I'm going to shift my foot a little bit. I'm going to do it again. Close my eyes. Look through. And it's repeatable. Now that I have established that, I'm going to focus on the execution of the shot next. All right, so go ahead and put it down, Chris. So oftentimes you may take this off the rest uh, and back up mounting it two or three times because you're, it, it's a process to build that natural point of aim. And when he picks the rifle back up and go, continues um, to create that natural point of aim, uh, we're going to move the offhand stand closer to the rifle, again, trying to achieve the least amount of movement as possible. I'm going to make sure the rifle's seated in the shoulder in the same place. Place my hand at the same spot. Now, I, since I have put the rifle down on the rest, I'm going to have to quickly reconfirm that I'm aligned and then recheck my natural point of aim. So as Chris is looking through the sights to con confirm that sight picture, let's take a look of exactly what he's looking at. From this illustration right here, you can tell that we've got the target, the very center dot, followed by the rear sight aperture, and that is centered in the, the, the front sight aperture. So what we're trying to do is align all those circles to make the target centered equidistant in the front sight, and then the front side aperture centered in the rear side. So as the shooting process continues, while you're pressing, 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 there's an intense focus to continue to align the sights, align the sights. Oftentimes, as a coach, we refer to it as drilling. Drill the sights, drill, 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 and press. So what Chris just did is he executed that shot and which is a dry fire shot and so we came up with an acronym called BRASS so it just kind of helps you articulate what is the shot process as it executes that we, we refer to breathing so he's referred to taking a deep breath exhaling relax and he's an intense focus on the sights so that's what we call aiming and then he reaches that natural respiratory pause stop and then squeeze these triggers are about a half an ounce each and he's squeezing through the shot as he's a hard press on the sights. He breaks the shot, he breaks, puts it down. Do um, you feel comfortable and ready to fire a shot? Yes, sir. So, uh, so now what he's doing is confirming those, this, uh, the execution of the shot, and now he's going through, that's the shot process. He will reload, he'll verify his natural point of aim, and then he'll execute the shot. And notice his trigger figure when he executes the shot. Through the shot process, it's a gentle squeeze and his finger never leaves the trigger. He'll actually maintain it all the way through as he ensures he follow throughs and then he resets the rifle back on the offhand stand. He's breathing. I can see him relaxed. He's checking out your point of aim. He stops, he squeezes through the shot, finger never leaves the trigger. That, that in, in, a, in a nutshell, is the standing process. Um, this rifle uh, standing sport is 40 shots, fired at a time limit of 70 minutes. Throughout the shot process or the course of fire, if, uh, if Chris would become fatigued and need to take a break, he simply open the chamber, set the rifle down on the table, keep it a feet in place, and he can pull up a chair behind him. That's a fair game. And he can sit there, he can relax, he can refocus himself, he can have some water if he needs to. Uh, but the whole time he's doing this, he's ensuring that the feet are not moving to ensure that he can repeat um, the natural point of aim. And whenever he gets ready to go, he'll stand back up, uh, remount the rifle, and again, going through the shot process. <clears throat> ensuring the natural point of aim again, and then breaking the well-aimed shot. Let's talk, let's go through it one more time, Chris. Yes, sir. Talk us through it. Okay, because I, I'm getting up from sitting, I'm gonna have to reconfirm that body alignment, 
and I'm still on. So now let's verify the natural pointing. Slide adjustment. It is common to continue to make minor adjustments because your body's not used to shooting uh, for this amount of time. So it's okay. As the body becomes more relaxed, the natural point of aim continues to get refined. And I had a brain fart and I didn't close the charging handle. So we start again. Breathe, relax, aim, stop, and squeeze the trigger. Follow through, put it down. So that's the Air Rifle Standing Warriors. Um, it is a very challenging uh, position to shoot, requires a lot of training uh, on your part. Uh, we enjoy coaching you through that process. So let's recap what we talked about today. We talked about how he build, builds his position, setting up his gear, achieving a natural point of aim, and ensuring uh, a, a great and the perfect sight picture. We also talked about executing the perfect shot through the brass method. Breathing, relaxing, aim, stop, Momentary pause, squeeze to the trigger, follow through, reset. So that just becomes the shot process. When he reloads, he comes back in position, re-verifies um, his natural point of aim, continues to take deep breaths and exhale to relax through the shot process, and then execute a, a well-aimed shot. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Uh, we look forward to seeing you on the fire line for some more pew-pew therapy, and looking forward to seeing you, Warriors.